will climb every mountain, I will rise with the sun. No rivers too deep, the journey has just begun. And just begun. And I got the heart, I got the heart of a huntress. Welcome back to Heart of the Huntress. Last week, we saw Chantal hunt her second animal on her African hunting expedition. Today, we begin our first ever Impala Grand Slam. Superior African hunting safaris, located in the Elis Ross area of Limpopo, was the next destination for the huntresses on their African adventure. Eli, we're heading out for the heart of the huntress Impala Slam. So I've heard there's some dangerous game on the property, and, and what else can we expect to find? Uh, we have buffalo. So uh, we'll have a backup rifle of us oh, good. all the way. Uh, yeah, we're gonna find buffalo. We're gonna see some with the, uh Maybe get a chance to see a golden wildebeest if we're lucky. And our neighbor has lions, so we might hear lions now and again. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So as long as I can run faster than Margaret, <laughs> I'll be okay. Yeah, time for uh, me. <laughs> After an early morning coffee, Christy and Margaret were ready for a very special hunt. Okay, so we spotted him. We spotted him now. Let's move to the state road and maybe we'll cross. Effect or a little bit, depending on how far it is. So it's a little bit of a waiting game now, and being patient and waiting by the side of the road to see if they'll cross the track, which will give us a nice, nice clear shot of any luck. So which one are you going to take first, the black one or the saddleback? Um, ideally the saddleback back, but um, I'm not fuzzy, so. See which one presents uh, the better shot. I'm lucky I get first choice. The Impalas did not present themselves, so it was back onto the hunting vehicle for some more spotting and stalking. Okay, so we just saw them pause, uh, about 400 yards away. We're going to move through this bush that's been cleared yep. and see if we can walk up to them. The wind is in our favor, so we'll be okay. Yeah. So 
It's a lot colder today than it's been the last few days. The first few days we got here it was so hot. Um, we have these wildebeest jackets uh, given to us which I was so excited to wear but it was too hot. So I'm kind of glad that the weather's cooled down I get the opportunity to try them. They're very comfortable. So, yeah. With no luck on any Impala, it was back to camp for lunch. So I'm here with Walty from Superior Game Breeders and we've just come in uh, for, for lunch, had an absolutely wonderful lunch before we head out for this afternoon. So this morning was quite, quite challenging. The weather conditions meant that the animals weren't very active so we had to work just so hard for the animals. Um, but it was, it was a really wonderful experience because I did get to see so many of the beautiful impalas in all their different colours. So Walter, can you tell me a little bit about the impalas here, all the beautiful colours and were, are they naturally occurring here? Yeah, uh, a lot of people think they are um, inbred or hybrid, but it isn't the case. They occur, occur naturally in the Kruger National Park, especially the White Impalas. Oh, wow. There's sightings in the Luanga Valley. Uh, all what we did is we take, uh, we got hold of some of those color variants and put them in a camp together, uh, get, uh, keep out the predators. And uh, by that, we was able to multiply them. In nature, they, uh, because they stand out, uh, a predator like a lion or a leopard, uh, they always focus on that one which is different than the others, um, because it's easier to follow. And yeah, now they're free roaming, yeah. Well, thanks, Walty. It was really interesting to hear about. So it's going to be, no doubt, a difficult or challenging afternoon. So I think I might have a little bit of a rest before we head out again. Later in the afternoon, with several spot and stalk attempts that resulted in Impala disappearing into the bush, Christy and professional hunter Eli were ready to return to the hunting vehicle. But as they were about to take a bend in the road, Eli spotted a figure in the shade of a tree. Eli put the shooting stick in position and it was up to Christy to take aim at the Impala Ram with her 270 loaded with Peregrine bullets. This way. It's in the shade, you can go. Huh? You can take the shot. <laughs> yeah! Well done. Okay. What time is it? Hey, 20, 20 or 17 past four. Now to gun. <laughs> Let's walk past it. Get yourself. Yeah. You got it? Okay. I'll wait here. Man. Okay, while you guys are sitting up, So since uh, leaving the lodge for our afternoon hunt, it's, uh, it was quite a bit of an epic afternoon. So we drove quite a few rounds of, of the farm just trying to spot some animals. It's really gotten quite hot so they're all just you know hidden and 
it took a long time before we finally come across this one so we just uh, came around a bend um, and spotted this absolutely beautiful impala uh, at about 200 meters it was front on so pretty tricky shot um, but yeah I managed to pull it together and take a good shot and down he dropped and didn't even go five meters so I was yeah really happy and relieved and absolutely over the moon for this opportunity so thank you very much no. <laughs> <coughs>
I'm over the moon. On behalf of Heart of the Huntress, we would like to give a huge thanks to superior game breeders and superior African hunting safaris. So just to show you how dark it really is, our cameraman's actually going to turn off his indie filter. Next week, we continue our Heart of the Huntress Impala Grand Slam with Donna and Chantal at Superior African Hunting Safaris. So see you next week.